We're gonna cook up the flounder and the trout fillets that I caught earlier and uh, I guess you could call it like a simple Mexican dish. We're gonna do some beans with Mexican rice and then we're going to season our fillets with some Mexican spices and uh, we'll marinate those just for a little bit. So uh, let's go ahead and switch hats and we'll uh, get right into it. First things first, we wanna get our beans going. We're gonna take the yellow onion. Normally I will use a sweet onion, but they didn't have any at the grocery store, so uh, we're gonna have to make do with this right here. Doing really thin slices for the style of beans that we'll be cooking today. Next, we'll take some Spam. You can use any type of a pork product. I just prefer to use Spam because it's easy and it's really simple to work with. All you wanna do is just kind of lightly brown the sides. And that's just so that they can try to retain uh, each of these little cubes will retain some of its flavor rather than just bleeding it all out. You do want it to flavor the sauce a little bit, but you don't want to do it too much. So we'll just lightly brown it and then we're going to throw the onion in here and we'll start to sweat those just a tad bit. I will take two serrano chili peppers and we will kind of mince them. And we just stir that in as well. It is a very simple dish to make. And these three ingredients right here, along with a fourth, which is gonna be tomato that has been, it's like whole peeled diced tomato. Uh, all of these marry up together for really intense flavor to throw inside those beans. You take a can of diced tomato and just pour that inside there. There you go. These are Roma tomatoes. Uh, every time I cook any style, like Mexican style dish, uh, I always use Roma tomatoes. Uh, I just learned that from watching my grandmother and then my mom and my dad whenever they would cook. They would not use those little, those, uh, what do you call them? Like the real plump tomatoes, those beefsteak <laughs> tomatoes uh, it was always Roma so that's what I use and there is a difference in taste so here we go now this is gonna stew just for a little bit we'll uh, salt it and then let the uh, onion kinda cook down and then once that's done We'll add it to our beans. Now for the marinade, we'll uh, get this fish into it. It's gonna be just a very simple one. Just think of your favorite seasoning, being that this is going to be a Mexican style dish. Uh, I'm gonna use fajita seasoning. We'll uh, slice these, like half of the onion is gonna go for the marinade. The other half will actually be used to cook over the fish. So next we'll just sprinkle in our fajita seasoning. Now from this we're gonna use a couple of the sprigs. We'll just lightly bruise it so that the flavor will seep out. It's got a very strong flavor so a little goes a long way. Uh, I happen to love this flavor so I don't mind it at all. So. Here we go. A little bit of water. Add a dash of cumin. And so we put our fillets in here. Boy, look at this flounder. That is massive. Let's get them nice and mixed up. Put our cilantro in there. Let's get all of that married up. This looks about cooked down. So this is highly concentrated flavor right here. So for those of you that are just wondering like, dude, what are you doing to those beans? Uh, if you go to any Mexican restaurant and they offer you chato beans, that's what these are. It's just homemade. Uh, there is no substitute for 
homemade beans. Uh, you can buy them in a can already cooked, but it's not going to be the same. Now we'll add the finishing touch for the beans, and that's going to be all this cilantro. You're just going to roughly chop it. It'll cook down inside them beans, and it's going to lend it a really good flavor. Just get that in there nice and mixed up with everything. The seasoning for the rice is just going to be a half a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then a teaspoon of onion powder. Uh, just for the sake of time, normally I would use uh, fresh garlic, uh, peel it and everything, but uh, I'm running out of time, so half of, or like maybe a quarter to half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then we're just going to throw in a little bit of salt. There we go. That's, if I had to guess, that's probably a quarter to like maybe half a teaspoon of salt. About two to three tablespoons of olive oil for the rice. That's nice and hot. You're going to take approximately two cups of white rice. You want to make it turn from the white that it used to be to a little bit brown. You'll take approximately one cup of whole peeled Roma tomatoes. This is the canned variety. That's what I always use. And we'll just kind of chop these up. And then let's get our four cups of water. And now we add in all of our seasoning. 15 minutes, simmer, cut the heat, let it sit for about 10 minutes so that every bit of moisture is absorbed into that rice. All right, we're charging this pan to make sure it's gonna be nice and hot. We'll throw this canola oil inside here. Using canola oil because it's got a very high smoke point, flash point. Just to give y'all an idea of what we're doing, it's just going to be a simple pan roast. You want to get a, 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 like a crust on the bottom of that filet and then we're going to immediately place it into the oven. So that should be good right there. This is going to cook really fast because these filets are pretty small. Put some cilantro on top of these fellas. A couple of lime slices, some tomato, and then we just throw it in the oven for a quick six minutes. About, I don't know, we're gonna just eyeball it, but uh, let's give it around six minutes though. Time for the fish to come out. Look at this. So look at that right there. I've never had this before, but uh, I'm hoping that it's going to taste good. Yeah, it's got a good, it's got a really good flavor to it. The marinade that we put it in, I made sure from the last time that I tried using that seasoning, I didn't put near enough, so it was just very bland. This time it's got a really good uh, texture and flavor. A tad bit overcooked, but that's my doing. And it has that Southwest, that like Tex-Mex uh, flavor to it. Uh, I already know that these beans are gonna be good and the rice, I uh, make that a lot. So uh, definitely, this fish definitely complements it. It has zero fishy flavor, like taste to it. I like the flavor that the cilantro lends to it. Even though this was just the garnish on top, uh, the fact that we bruised some of these sprigs and placed it in there for uh, a good while to marinate while everything else was cooking, um, that cilantro flavor really comes out. One of the things that I wish that I would have put a little bit more of was the cumin. Uh, it doesn't have enough of it, so if it had a tad bit more of the cumin flavor, it would have been on point. But I definitely give it a thumbs up. It's a good dinner. Uh, for the most part, it's healthy. And all of it is homemade. I wish that we could catch like maybe a bigger flounder so that's a, a tad bit thicker so that you get that nice moist uh, like 
texture to the flatty itself. Most definitely, we'll probably cook this again. So, uh, what would I give it? Me, probably on the taste rating, like a seven and three quarters. Definitely a good tasting meal. All right, so that's gonna be all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. And that's it. Until next time, everyone, tight lines.